Hello guys, welcome to yet another review video on this channel. In this video, we're going to be reviewing Pink Coin. I don't know if you've heard about it, but a lot of people are investing into it, so I thought it would be a worthy video topic. In this video, I'm going to be putting together all the facts about Pink Coin and Inks Nation, which is the parent company of Pink Coin, in one place, leaving you with sufficient information to decide whether or not this is a good investment for you. Quick tip on how this video is going to go. I'm going to start by giving a brief rundown on Pink Coin and its parent company, Inks Nation. Only after that will I provide evidences as to whether it is legit or scam. So if you're only interested in finding out if Ink Coin is legit or scam, there'll be a timestamp in the description box below. Go ahead and skip to that part of the video. So with that said, here you go. Pink Coin is the reserve token of the Inks Nation blockchain that is currently in its initial coin offering stage. This token and its blockchain have been making a bit of waves for itself lately, and I think it is quite impressive. Quick reminder, please leave a like on this video, it allows this video get seen by way more people and in turn it allows this channel grow. If you do leave a like on this video, it will be so much appreciated. Also, if you are new to this channel, on this channel we review businesses, websites and apps, we talk about how to make money online and finally we drop a few videos about investing and personal finance. So if all that sounds good to you, then go ahead and join the family by tapping that red subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be informed whenever we put out new videos. So with that out of the way, let's head straight into today's video. Inks Nation is the world's first charitable trust that exists as a decentralized autonomous organization, DAO for short. This simply means that the organization is represented by rules encoded as a computer program that is transparent, controlled by the organization members, and not influenced by a central government. A DAO's financial transaction record and program rules are maintained on the blockchain. It has its CEO as Amos Shewanu or Montade Sparks. Please pardon me if I didn't get that pronunciation correctly. He has a prominent social media presence. Unlike most other businesses covered so far on this channel, the CEO of Inks Nation is well known, making Pink Coin look a little bit more trustworthy. The headquarters is located in Lagos, Nigeria, but they also have mailing addresses in Canada, UK, and the USA. As shown on each site, IB Smartify, who is a promoter of the blockchain, IB Cryptocurrency, began operating Inks Nation website in November 2018. It is also registered with the CAC of Nigeria. Inks Nation states that its project can eradicate poverty in Nigeria and any country that embraces it in less than 9 months. However, they don't tell us how they want to achieve this. And I also think that this is a wildly bold claim that I don't see as being able to be achieved in 9 months. According to them, they intend to achieve this with their own blockchain called Inks Ledger, formerly called IB Ledger. According to Inks Nation, their blockchain functions very differently from other existing blockchain. They claim it is not time-oriented like other cryptocurrencies, rather it is target-oriented. Just as every blockchain has this token, Inks Ledger has its own coin called Pink Coin, but Pink Coin is only available on the Inks Nation website, so I can hardly call it a widely accepted coin. It is also absent on CoinMarketCap, which provides information about all coins trading the cryptocurrency market, and this raises further red flags. If a coin isn't present on CoinMarketCap, then how can you even call it a coin in the first place? Pink coin is the brainchild of Inks Nation. It is the native coin of Inks Ledger. It being a native coin simply means that it will be used to make whatever payments that is to be made on Inks Ledger. This is the same as in the case of Ethereum where Ether is used and that of Neo where gas is used. According to the team at Inks Nation, this native reserve coin will pay everyone on Earth, including babies born every day, salaries for life. I don't think this is achievable and it doesn't tell well for a company to make claims that it cannot uphold. It is proposing a minimum of 4,000 Naira daily and 120,000 Naira will be paid monthly for life as UCBI, which is Universal Child Basic Income. Again, I don't think this is achievable and I am not seeing how they plan to achieve this but let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below. Also according to Inks Nation, Pink Coin has a total supply of 144 million coins and uses the ticker PKN. The coin was launched on 12th August 2020, thus bringing its crowd sale to an end. The price of 1 KPN is about $9,000 as of 20th October 2020, but no exchange has indicated support for Pink Coin yet. Thus, PKN can only be acquired from the Inks Nation site. So we are finally down to the juicy part of the video, is Inks Nation platform legit or scam? My simple answer is yes and no. Don't get mad at me yet, I will explain what I mean. Let's together go through my reasons for saying yes and no. So, the reasons I say yes. 1. There is a known owner. 
CEO Amos Shewanu or Mother Dates Parks. This is unlike what we have for other investments that have no known owners. At least we know who to hold accountable for adventure things go the wrong way. Two, it is registered both with the CAC and on whois.com, which is a good sign. Also, scamboy.net rated the site inksnation.io very high. Four, there are a couple of reviews about Inksnation saying that it is really good and the reviews come from a relatively large number of people. So this is a plus for Pinkcoin as well. So, there are both set of reasons why I feel Pinkcoin could be legit. With that said, let us head over to the reasons why I feel that Pinkcoin could be a scam. Now, Pinkcoin could possibly be a scam because upon arriving at the site, I saw buttons to view the white paper and the ink note paper. I went straight ahead to click to read. Unfortunately, the buttons do not work. This could possibly mean that there is no white paper and a project without a white paper. I mean, what kind of a project does not have a white paper? Then, going through the terms and conditions, I was met with this first statement. Effective November 12, 2018, IB Smartify operates the www.inksnation.io website. This statement somehow infers that IB Smartify took over the operation of inksnation.io or started operating it from 12th of November 2018. This date contradicts what I found on whois.com as a registration date which is May 30th, 2019. It was just the CEO that was listed with Elohim Jagger as the trustor or grantor. I don't see how a team of two people can manage an establishment with lofty goals such as those that Inksnation proposed to achieve. Furthermore, taking a closer look at Pinkcoin, the price of one Pinkcoin is well over $9,000 as of 20th October 2020. Now, no exchange has shown interest in listing this coin till now. Pinkcoin also hasn't been added to CoinMarketCap.com. There are no talks in the pipeline regarding that either. Yet the coin is worth well over $9,000. How is that possible? When the market that decides the price of coins hasn't even listed you yet. So how do you come up with the price of the coin? This kind of reminds me about the billion coin, which was a coin by a company that promised to also eradicate poverty and the price of the billion coin only increased on the billion coin sites. The billion coin kept making a lot of promises that they haven't fulfilled up to date. So there's a possibility that the same can happen to pink coin. As with every cryptocurrency, its success is highly dependent on mass adoption. And until that happens, its self-proclaimed value is simply not correct. In Inks Nation, there are no products and services except the purchase of coins and affiliate membership, a kind of pyramid scheme. But I can't hold this too much against them because most cryptocurrencies too have no intrinsic value, products or services. However, there is nothing like affiliate membership or pyramid schemes in most cryptocurrencies, which raises another daunting question about how truly legit Pinkcoin is. Scamadvisor.com and Scamdoc.com rated the site Inksnation.io very low. As a matter of fact, Scamadvisor.com rated it with just a 1% trust score, with the warning that the site got a lot of negative Facebook comments. While Scamdoc.com gave the site a trust score of 14%, with strict warning that the site or domain name is linked to one or more countries known for being used for fraudulent websites. If making money from Pincoin is dependent on recruiting new investors, then I can't really call it cryptocurrency anymore. Do check out the video I made a few months back about how to make money from cryptocurrency. The video will be linked in the description box below. Some weeks back, we saw Inks Nation trending on Twitter because of its issues with Cyban. Cyban added Inks Nation to its scam list after Inks Nation was purported to have stated that it is registered with the association. This came prior to the time SEC released its own statement. There was also a claim that China and India contacted Inks Nation to come to start up the project in their countries, but there was no proof to back up that claim either. From all I have covered in this video, I can't really say that I trust Pinkcoin. Yes, it's the first of its kind, but there are a lot of red flags that I simply cannot ignore. Though one can never really tell what will later become a project like this, I simply cannot endorse it. I also cannot see how they plan to eradicate poverty. The promises are vague, they don't seem to have a clear plan towards achieving their goals, also, I see no other ways to make money from this coin aside recruiting and if this is the case, point blank it is a pyramid scheme and hence unsustainable. I am forced to give Bitcoin a 25% legit score on a scale of 1 to 100 for very obvious reasons. Even if you do intend to invest, remember to invest only money that you can afford to lose. Do not consider any of this financial advice like I said before, these are just my thoughts and I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Please drop a like on this video, share with your friends and family if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers!